Hello world, you are tuned into T and V Daily Inspirational Talk. Let's go. Hello everyone, this is TMV with the Daily Inspiration Talk and I just wanted to share a meditation that I have found very useful to me over the years and it's called Until Today by Ayana Van Zandt and I'm reading for May 7th and it says, I am now receptive to the idea that God is on my side. Be a witness to God growing in you. Be a witness to the love, the grace, the kindness of God growing in you and blooming in every aspect of your life. Be a witness to the breath and the beauty of God moving in your being. Be a witness to God moving in your life, shaping, shifting, molding every moment of this day. In order to be a witness, you must trust God enough to stop moving, stop doing, and just sit a spell. In order to call forth the presence of God in you, then watch to do its divine work as you. Be a witness to God growing as you. Be a witness to how you have changed, how you have grown, how you have blossomed into the goodness and greatness. Be a witness to how you touch others, how you teach others, how you love and serve others. Be a witness to the power that you have to transform, to purify, to rectify any signs of destruction in yourself and in the world immediately around you. Just be a witness by standing back, talking, looking around and by remembering the truth of who you are. Be a witness to God growing through you. Be a witness to what you thought you had to have that you no longer need. Be a witness to what you thought you could not do that got done with grace and with ease. Be a witness to your ability to see that all that is behind you as part of the path to where you are heading. Be a witness to the gifts you have, perhaps the one thing that you do that has sustained you and at some point in time been a blessing to someone else. Be a witness to the multi-dimension abilities God moving through you that allow you to be in the past, the future, and the present to make choices about which way you intend to go. In order to be a witness to the power of God as you stop judging, start forgiving. Until today, you may have been a blind witness to the glory of God in you, as you and through you. Just for today, take a moment or several moments to become aware of how God looks on you. Today, I am devoted to being a witness to seeing myself as God sees me. And what this means to me is, you know, I have to take a moment to just look back and be respect, be receptive to what God is doing in my life, to be receptive to the things that have happened in my life and understand that it's not about me. It's never about me. No matter how painful things may be, even in my most painful moment, things come for one of two reasons. Either you reap what you sow or you have asked for something that requires something else to happen. So when things happen in my life, sometimes I have to just sit back and take a moment and say, why did this happen? And then take a moment to stop making excuses for why I'm not sharing with other people or why I'm not giving back or I'm not sharing my experiences that may help somebody else because I may say, well, I don't have this or I need to have this or I don't have that together. Just being willing to be okay where I am, trust God and be willing to give back in some sort of way that's what it means to me what does it mean to you V <clears throat> well thank you for bringing me on the air uh, I just want to say that uh, no, uh, seriously um, yes seriously I like what was said at the beginning about the steel part uh, which before we started this uh, today's talk we kind of pre-discuss you know what we're going to talk about and the part that it means to me is that, you know, sometimes we have to just sit back, be still, chill, whatever, how you may want to look at it, and just pretty much observe. You know, I've learned as the older I've gotten that, you know, just going, 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 sometimes you miss a lot of, you make a lot of mistakes, you know, so I'm learning how to just sit back and observe a lot of my surroundings and what's going on in the world and seeing what's 
what's being done, what's not being done, where could I fit in, you know, when to speak, when not to speak, people who I feel should be, uh, who I should take the time out to try to reach out to and some who it may not even matter to. So it's it's more like, to me, it's more like a patience, sound like a, it's more like a patience thing, and it's more like whatever you feel in this world where you can fit in and where God is doing something where he will be pleased if you would were to participate in it that that may be something that you might want to look into because like you just said you know a few minutes ago you know it's, it's never about you it's about you know your impact on the world so um that's what basically i got of it you know so i mean i always say and uh you know i've heard, I've heard a lot of people quote this you know that life is like a a chess game you know and, and and if and if everybody knows you know the game of chess it is never it is not like checkers it's a very tr strategic type game that you have to make sure that your next move is your best move one move can basically just wipe you out so sometimes you have to be patient before you just n make the next move in life and kind of be observant of what's been going on around you because you're still going to make mistakes but at least if you take your time and you don't move as fast and actually it will help you because from what I've learned it'll take a lot of stress out of your life because everyone's in the rat race you know every day we're on the go we we, we have to, so much we have to do True. And, and this and that and everybody I mean that is very stressful yes. to know that you have to keep on oh I gotta I gotta get ready for work tomorrow oh, man yes. I, gotta, I gotta meet my friend here I gotta you know that is actually we put a lot of stress on ourselves we more and, and, and we really don't have to you know it's okay to tell a friend that um hey man uh, uh not today or let me get back with you in a couple of hours you know give yourself some time to think of what you want to do right. for your day and uh you know everything will work itself out can i kind of jump in on that one Go because ahead. Go ahead. you know you you said something that kind of struck me right there when you said how we're kind of in the rat race in today's society you know sometimes we walk around with our cell phones we walk around with our ipads and it's like we're little zombies you know we're just in our own world we really don't want to be bothered with yes, people yes. we've become anti-social you know going to people's houses saying hello to them is like old-fashioned these days you, you just send a text who who has time to go to somebody's house everybody is so busy as right. busy as everybody is we should be millionaires by now there's should be no poverty in the world because nobody has time for nothing wow. you get on the highway especially here in dallas and you got all these interstates you know you got 360 20 30 80 all these different highways and people are just flying i have never gotten cussed out so much in my life until i moved to dallas on the highway because everybody's in a rush to go where nowhere you oh, probably wow. will get to your destination three minutes, you know, 180 seconds faster than I did. But was it really worth it? You Sometimes we can just take five minutes and say, I'm going to go to bed five minutes earlier, wake up five minutes earlier, just so I can relax a little bit more in the morning. When I come home from work, before I come in the house, I'm going to sit in the driveway for just 10 minutes and listen to my favorite song to wind down before I go in the house and have to deal with whatever's going on in the house, homework for the kids cooking cleaning we need to take a moment to just wind yes, down yes just take that time man it, it it really helps you if you really if you really just take time out for yourself and and just analyze you know what did i get accomplished today you know maybe who did i maybe encourage somebody today whatever hopefully it's it's a positive thing that you're trying to do because right now you know the world we need more uh we need so much more love and happiness and people need to impact and we need to encourage each other more so you know just like you said you know it's a rat race and you know what's funny about that like you you really said something i was like wow you know people are going so fast and moving everywhere and you know what sometimes you look around you and still nothing has really been done right so you look you be like wait a minute so right. what was all the fuss and the ruckus about right you know sometimes you can get just as much done just sitting back uh relaxing getting your thoughts together you know one gentleman that i'm pretty much sure we're all um uh aware of and uh his name is russell simmons uh, you know, I've been studying up on this brother and, you know, of course, he's the, the older brother of uh, Joe Simmons, which is run from Run DMC and the founder of, you know, their, their record label. 
And this man, you know, I look back, you know, with how he used to be when the hip hop was at his highest peak and he did this, but now he is a man that is such at peace. You know, and the things that he study up on, I mean, of course, it's his own personal thing that he does, whether if it's yoga, you know, his spirituality is to the point to where he, he is living, I mean, and you can tell just by the way the man, his quotes, what he say whenever you see him on TV, he is living a very uh, uh, unstressful peaceful life because he's taking the time for himself right. before he even gets his day started this man say he meditates 20 minutes you know in the morning. 20 minutes in the morning 20 in the, afternoon. 20 in the afternoon you know he's even getting his kids to do the same thing now I'm not trying to say because it's working for him it will work for you but it would be something that would just should kind of make you think you know what I'm saying so all I'm saying is that people just take time out today love yourself and when you love yourself then you have the energy and the will to want to love somebody else all right well I hope that that helps someone in some sort of way again this is the meditation for May the 7th we hope to be able to come back soon and do more meditations your feedback is greatly appreciated so I hope you guys have a wonderful day or evening at whatever time you're listening to this and each one teach one we thank you for tuning in to the T and V daily inspiration if this inspires you in any way, please feel free to share with others. Be blessed.